We won a giveaway. Yay! Thank you, Tumsky and Mrs. Smalls, for hosting this giveaway. We won this awesome book by Christina Montgomery Smalls, Trees, Adventures, Making New Friends. Me and Lily has read this book maybe four or five times already. It's super awesome, very sweet, and I thought I'll share it with you guys. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. She reads many wonderful books on her page, on her YouTube channel, so guys, make sure you give her a follow, and let's get started. Corin and Pamela were new friends. They talked about the time they met while traveling. Tree was listening. I have been standing here forever. I want to make new friends. Tree pulled his roots right out of the ground. Here are some boots and just my size. Tree stood up tall, looked all around and saw a sign with an arrow that read, New friends this way. Tree decides to bring along a first aid statue. It is smart to travel prepared, he thought. Tree went down the dirt path and, short, and shortly came upon a barn. He stopped to look at the barn animals. Hello, I am Tree. I am traveling to make new friends. Tree continued down the path and waved excitedly. When he saw two new friends, I am here, your new friend, Tree shouted. Susie and Adam let out a startling scream and ran away as fast as they could. Tree was not happy his new friends had ran away, but he was happy they had left him a barrel of water. Tree was already very thirsty. Maybe I need a bath, he thought. Suddenly, as Tree stood up again, the barrel toppled over and Tree tumbled out. He did a somersault and landed with a thump on his tummy. Owl was the first to see that Tree had broken his arm. Owl used the first aid statue to help bandage it up. Owl did a good job trying not to hurt Tree. As soon as Owl could tie a sling to hold up Tree's arm, Tree was smiling and eager to continue on his way to make new friends. Owl will thank you so much for your help. You did a great job, he said. A visitor named Horse, who has been eating grass nearby, came to see if Tree was all right. Tree thought that was nice. Are you lonesome, Horse? You look like a fine horse to me, said Tree. Horse offered to give Tree a ride. It was getting later and later and darker and darker, and soon it would be nighttime. Horse wanted to help Tree find a resting place. Owl spotted a cave. I need to rest, Tree yawned. It has been a very long day, and everyone was tired, especially Tree. They were all starting to doze off when suddenly they heard a large, growling sound from inside the cave. It got louder and louder. Roar! Bear sprung from the cave. Tree and the others were so frightened they moved out as fast as they could to get away. They ran, they ran, they ran, and they ran, and they ran until they could not they could run no more. Bear was out of breath and stopped chasing them. As Owl and Horse reached the top of the hill to rest, Tree said, I think Bear was only protecting his home. He, was go he wasn't going to hurt us. They lay down in the grass together and fell asleep under the stars and full moon. When they woke up the next day, the sun was straight overhead. They had slept through the morning. Tree stretched out his stiff branches and yawned. Where are we? Little forest animals had gathered all around Tree. They were curious because they had never seen a walking, talking tree before. Tree stood up too fast. He felt dizzy and sick. I think I am thirsty. Is there any water here? The forest animals pointed to the river. Tree thanked the animals and carefully walked to the edge of the river. He sat down in the water and signed, <sighs> His sore feet were happy, and soon his thirst was quenched. The forest animals all watched in amazement. Tree watched the forest animals right back. Then the forest animals all scurried off. A fishing boat carrying two men came floating down the river. Tree got excited and waved his arms. Hello, new friends. How are you today? The fishermen screamed, jumped out of the boat, and ran away. Hmm, sighed.
assigned tree sitting down again. It seems whenever I try to make new friends, they all run away from me. Tree frowned. The forest animals came back and sat with him. Then Tree sm slowly smiled. He realized the animals were his friends. Tree stood up tall with a knowing voice said, I think it is time for me to go back home to my spot in the park where I belong. Would all of you, my new friends, like to join me and see where I live? The forest animals found they placed on tree and held on. They all returned together along the path. Back to the spot in the park where tree first started his journey. All of you have truly made me happy, he told the animals. Thank you for becoming my new founded friends. The end. Before the book is over, she wrote a prayer for the children Thank you, Father, for the children in our lives. They are such a blessing. Keep them safe in your loving arms. Protect them from any harm. Guide them in your holy truths. Amen. I hope you guys enjoyed Tree's adventure, making new friends. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for this awesome giveaway win. This book is so adorable, and I enjoy it. I enjoy reading it to Lily. She enjoys me reading it to her. So I hope you guys enjoyed this book share. Like always, like, share, and subscribe. Bye, friends.